Right, this is the Channel's Television and Chief Nia Alumni Budget 2018 uh, Special Edition. L uh, discussion here of the round table. This is a final a minute, few minutes of this evening in Channel Television uh, Live Roundtable on Budget 2018. So let's get the final one minute each from our five panelists here today. Wally uh, Bayomi from KPMG. Uh, how do I profit from Budget 2018? Okay, first, um, the outlook for the economy is very positive. At this time, when we had this uh, roundtable, it was very bleak. So that's very positive, meaning that. The economy should do better, and businesses should do better. If businesses do better, um, large enterprises, small and medium enterprises should benefit from the opportunities that will come through the system. As I mentioned earlier, it's good that government is going to uh, want to go through privatization, also wants to sell down some of its equity in the, in the joint ventures, and also um, the fact that, again, concessioning of the airports. So gradually, go government is moving towards private sector a led investment in the economy and so, that is really so if really, i'm a businessman yes I, if i'm in business or whatever uh, looking for a job i should be looking for opportunities around there the should area. be opportunities for you i mean one, once big businesses do well small businesses should also do well because they'll get contracts for i do well. under procurement and all of that i do well you should do well uh, you're already doing well you should do uh, well as well uh, johnson Chuku, thank you very much for being here johnson uh, do you think the marketplace is where some investments and folks will make locking some good uh, to put some food on their table uh, and extra money in their pockets Yes, I think the equity market should be strong uh, uh, next year. Simple is the interest rate is going down. And when interest goes down, people uh, will adjust their portfolio away from fixed income to equities instruments. So we should see a strong uh, equity run in 2018. We should see um, F uh, pressure on FX because liquidity is coming to the economy. So there will be demand for FX. Particularly towards the tail end of next year, you're going to see a lot of pressure on the FX market. Simple reason is that people, um, there will also be so much demand because of electionary campaign in the autonomous market. And in terms of inflation, we expect inflation to trend downwards the earlier part of the year. And that will also create improvement in um, purchasing power and, um, of, of, of individuals and households. So we should see some improvement in standard of living next year, particularly the earlier part of the year. I like that. Larry, are you in, the, are you in bed with uh, him on that? <laughs> in bed is a very strong word, but I do yeah, agree. Well, well, I do agree, are, Mr. You guys Chuku. Are on Street. Yeah, so, on the market so I, 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 I do are, agree with him. Think like. There will definitely be some rotation into equities, but I still think opportunities to remain in the, in, the, in the fixed income space. So as yields are coming down, it's a good time for corporates to come to the market. So you're probably going to see some more corporate board insurances, some commercial paper. Um, you know, there's an infrastructure debt fund that's out there that's priced at a premium. Uh, there's a green bond coming. And a green bond coming up. So, and most of these corporates will price at a slight premium to the FGN. So okay. I think people need to be very, you know, watch what's coming to the market and, and try and lock in those spreads when they, when they come to the market. I'm watching you, folks. Uh, let's uh, cross over to uh, Abuja Studios to uh, get a 30 seconds wrap. Uh, on this from um, Mr. Uh, Madakiame and Samuel uh, Boluri. Uh, Mr. Boluri, give us your, your 30 seconds take on where you think you can profit from this economy and the budget in 2018. Well, um, I, just like my colleagues have, uh, have um, agreed, I think um, the economy is um, um, growing gradually after um, a, a full year of recession. And um, we are going to be seeing the impact on lives and on businesses. Um, just to make sure that that impact is more effective, I think the, um, the government should do more on the ease of doing business and look at um, things like um, um, tax rates for the manufacturing sector, especially because that's the sector that uh, uh, promises to give, uh, create more jobs as the government is looking um, to create more jobs. So, um, the outlook for our next year is, is bright. Um, I, 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 thank you. Well, I, thank, I thank you very much. Everybody is saying this is bright. The recovery outlook is good. Uh, Mr. Madaki, I'm a 30 seconds. How would you profit? How do you plan to profit from 2018? Would that be in politics, in business, or in economy? I think government should stop consciously the, 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 uh, the wasteful policy of selling crude oil. We can start the diversification process by beginning to say, we do not want to sell crude anymore. We have to refine more of our crude and add value to, the, to, to crude oil, which is the primary product that we have and we're selling. Because, and if we do that, we'll increase our capacity to earn as a country. And we'll increase our capacity to budget 
even heavier figures, you know, in subsequent years. All right, that thank, way, thank you, you, know, you very the much. Where... My, my apologies, we have to wrap it up at this point. Uh, my dear, uh, thank you to every one of you, and we thank you, Mr. Amanda Kiyami and uh, Samuel Abolune from our Abuja studios, uh, two of the chief Nin alumni uh, members, and uh, the Lagos headquarters of Channel Television. Uh, Wale Abayomi, thank you very much for coming from KPMG, Johnson okay. Chiku from Carry Assets, and of course, uh, uh, um, my very good friend, Larry Buluru. Everyone's my friend here, so let's just uh, <laughs> make that very clear. Thank you, everyone, for coming, and we appreciate uh, being here on this Channel Television and Chief Nin Alumni Budget 2018 Live Roundtable. I am Boosting Mofa, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye for now.